Next one, if the nominal interest rate is 3%, how much is 5,000 worth in 10 years in continuously compounded account? Nominal interest rate is 3%. Matic na yan. So, that will be F is equal to P-E-R-N. So, principal is 5,000. P raised to R. R is 0 0.03 in 10 years. Continuously compounded account. So, future amount is 5,000 tapos uh, shift E raised to 0 0.03 times 10. So, the answer is 6,749.29 pesos. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yung pesos sa Next one, a man wishes his son to receive 500,000 10 years from now. What amount should he invest now if it will earn interest of 12% compounded annually during the first 5 years and 15% compounded quarterly during the next 5 years? I'll give you, ito ay mga problems ito, I'll give you 10 minutes to answer this. Okay, let me post this. Recording. Okay. So, let us continue. Dito, mayroong shortcut dyan. Ha? May shortcut dito na ginagawa tayo. Ngayon, kapag sinabing double it cell, okay? Kapag sinabing double it cell, remember, there are terms of compounding. ba? In terms of compounding, na saan, ito double it cell. How? Ganito na lang yan. Ito yung shortcut. Remember this shortcut, kapag sinabing double itself. <coughs> Pag double itself, all you have to do is yung 72, i-divide mo nung interest. Ano interest mo dyan? 5. So, 72, divide mo ng 5. Try natin. 72, divide it by 5. So, the answer is 14.4, yung pinakama lapit na sagot. 14.2, yeah. 14.4. Next one. Teknik ha? Teknik dito. Ang sabi dyan, yung sa, para madali nyo matandaan to, yung F is equal to P-E-R-N. Lagawin yung letter B, <coughs> yung P. Sir, para po continuously compounded. Ay, alam ko yung formula. Sir, yan po yung crush nyo yung college. Si Pern. Yan. Yung crush ni Sir nung college. Next one. Ito. Medyo mahirap. Natanong. So, Iman wishes his son to receive 5,000 in 10 years. Okay. Then, ito yung complete problem niya. 500,000 in 10 years from now. What amount should he invest? Okay? Sabi dyan. What amount should he invest now if it will earn an interest rate of 12% compounded annually on the 5th year? Okay? And the next 5 years, maging 15% compounded quarterly. Okay? Atiin natin. That is the time, okay? that is the time na mas maganda gawin natin siya ng cash flow diagram. So, cash flow diagram for 10 years. So, 0 tier to 10 years. So, ibig sabihin, will earn after 10 years, papasok or palabas ang pera, papasok ang pera dun sa bata. You have 500k on the 10th year. Okay. 10 years. 6, 7, This is the fifth year. Four, three, two, one. Zero year. Ngayon, magkano yung ilalabas niya? Okay? Ito yung hindi natin alam. Yung present rate of the money. At year zero. Now, on the first year, hanggang the fifth year, meron kang 12% uh, dyan. Compounded annually. So, N is 1. Dito, meron kang 15% on 
compounded quarterly so n rm is 4 ito m is 1 now how will you solve it yung future work mo muna dito alamin mo yung magiging future work mo dito napapasok dito sa 5 f on the fifth year okay yung f on the fifth year that is equal to t t ay yung present work 0 mo t 0 1 plus ano yung percentage nyo dyan on the first year on the fifth year that is 0 0.12 compounded annually o di buwan raised to the fifth power o meron ka nang nagawang equation dyan okay yung fifth year mo dito that will become the p of 5 Yan yung present work niya at fifth year. Okay. Para makuha mo yung future work at the tenth year. So, future work at the tenth year is equal to F5 multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.15 compounded quarterly raised to 4 times fifth year pa rin. Okay, 10 to N20. Ngayon ganun, 5. M. 4 times M. Uh, 10 year. 10 year. Ay, hindi. Limang taon lang pala. Limang taon lang. That is 5. For 5 years to ah. So, this will become TO kasi magiging 500K ito eh. 500K. 500K. PO tapos 1 plus 0 0.12 raised to the fifth power multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.15 raised to 4. Divide ko na lang. So, PO will be equal to 500,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 raised to the fifth power tapos 1 plus uh, 0 0.15 divided by 4 times 20. So the answer will be, ano yung in-invest niya ngayong araw na ito? So 500,000 divided by 1.12 raised to the fifth power multiplied to 1 plus 15 0.15 divided by 4 raised to 20. So the answer is, 100 okay, 100 135,868 point 19 pesos ang in-invest niya sa Meron ka pang isang outlook diyan. Paano mo na siya isosolve? Kung titignan mo naman siya to present, lahat ilagay mo sa present. Okay? Same lang 'yan. Babalik ka rin mo lang yung may ging sagot to put up into present income. Okay. So that is for problem number 3. Okay. Number 4.